The Lakers is one of the greatest franchise in all of sports. Known for their great players, many Hall of Famers, known for their many championships. But back to the players, who is number one? Who is the greatest player in Lakers history? Well, yeah, Sean Fowler of the Just Good Network. Sean, who is the greatest player? Well, I'm a, well, one of the greatest players said that is Kobe Bryant, and I agree with him. If we're talking about the greatest Laker of all time, and yes, you know, I, I'll say this. I think Kobe Bryant is the greatest player of all time. I don't know. I'm probably going to, you know, shoot a lot of hate for that, but I think he is. Um, five-time champion. Let's see all the other Lakers. Uh, the other Lakers, uh, Magic Johnson, five championships on the team. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, five championships on that Pacific team. One, one with Milwaukee, like you said. So Kobe Bryant, the third leading scorer of all time, played 20 years. I think besides Magic Johnson, he's at all the great players. He's the only Laker who played for that team his whole career. Absolutely. So I think that has to come into effect if we're talking about greatest Lakers of all time. So I'm gonna say Kobe Bryant, third leading scorer of all time, uh, won a championship without a superstar on his team. Um, Shaquille Neal ended up leaving. He won three with him. Uh, won two more titles. And look, I understand Paul Gasol. You know he was. To say he's a superstar in that era or at that time when they won the championships, I can agree, but I think what makes a superstar is if you if you at least continue to be consistent for at least 10 plus years and you're always, without a doubt, you're the best in that position. You know, that's why I say, you know, LeBron James, he's the best, he's the best small forward, one of the best players, you know, obviously of all time. But could we just say the best power forward in today's game is Paul Gasol for like five years in a row? I don't know. So I think Paul Gasol is more of a star than a superstar. And that being said, Kobe Bryant, I just think he's the best Laker of all time. So who okay, thinking? okay. Here's my list. Mm -hmm. Even though we were talking about the best Lakers, let, let, let me ahead. start with it. Number five, Jerry West, the logo. I, I'll go with him at number five. Number four, Shaquille O'Neal didn't play for the Lakers as long as some of these other guys on the list. That's why I have him only as number four. Number three, your boy, Kobe Bean Bryant, one of the clutchest players of all time, one of the hardest workers of all time, an inspiration, five-time NBA champion, one of the best ever. I put him number two in, in the shooting guard category. Easily a top ten player of all time. Top ten, easy top yes. five. E top ten player of all time. We'll, we'll debate the top five part. Wow. Number two, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm -hmm. The sky hook, the points, the all-star appearances, the things he was able to do defensively as a champion. He was part of that Lakers show, which was probably the best error of the Lakers, to think about it. And number one, Magic Johnson. There hasn't been a player like him. 6'8", 6'9", passing like that, setting guys up like Byron Scott, Harper, Willis, guys that had no business scoring or being set up that well, he was able to do so. When he was driving to the basket and lanes were closed down, Magic was able to create that. The type of vision he had, the only guy I could see with some of that vision is LeBron James, but mm. LeBron to me can't pass as well as Magic Johnson. And better. the reason I have Magic Johnson above a Kobe Bryant and Kareem is the passing ability, his ability to rebound, the way he changed the game. Him and Larry Bird, they brought the NBA to the next level. Can I say that without Kobe Bryant playing, the NBA wouldn't be where it's at? I can't say that. But Magic Johnson, if it wasn't for him coming into the league, winning a championship at 19 years old, we don't know where the NBA would be. That's why I have Magic Johnson number one. I have him number one as the, the best Laker of all time. He could do more things than Kobe Bryant could do. Kobe can't pass half as good as Magic. And, and Magic can't score like Kobe Bryant. Yeah. But Magic Johnson, to me, he was a better leader. Uh, rarely missed the playoffs when, when he wasn't playing. It was a huge, huge effect. There's many times Kobe Bryant missed the playoffs, Shaq's off the team. Is it his team? We always knew it was Magic Johnson's team. We can't say the same about Kobe Bryant. Yeah, but, and, and you know, you made, you made a lot of interesting points. Some of them I disagree with, but this is the thing. Like know, which ones? Like, uh, let's, say, let's say the Shaq thing. I understand that. Was Shaq a better player at the time when they won the championship? Yeah, he was. Shaq was in his prom. Shaq already played. Shaq was playing before Kobe even got into the NBA. And we all know at the end of the day, Kobe has five rings. Shaq has four. And I think... You know, most people they, they put Kobe ahead of Shaq, and I think do you do you do that? Is, is Kobe all around? Is he is he a better player than Shaq? At the end of the day, careers, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So you know that, that that's the first thing. The second thing is this. <laughs> it's funny how you, you talk about again. I don't mean to go off on different segments, but you talked about how Magic Johnson. You know, he can pass the ball. He can do more things. You, you try to emphasize with Kobe Bryant, but that's why I put Magic Johnson ahead of Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, because that the passing ability understand Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, he's more of a paint guy. He can score all these things. But because Magic Johnson, he was Showtime, those two connecting, 
it was like the first Kobe and Shaq thing because they, they just automatically brought championships great. So, you know, that's the second thing. But Magic Johnson said himself, and I understand Magic Johnson always He always up. boosts he always everybody. My man, Steph Curry. This Come on, thing, man. Though, Jason, look, it's still every athlete has some type of pride, a little ego to him. So what I'm saying is this. Magic Johnson did say when Kobe's about to win his fifth championship, he's the best Laker of all time. The best Laker of all time. He didn't say he was the best player of all time, but the best Laker. Yeah, because he's going to so say Ma Michael, Jeffrey, I, I, Jordan. I, I, I you know it. what he's going to say. He could say himself. I, but I'm still – and look, Magic Johnson's a great guy. You know, he's very nice and all these things. But this is the thing. He said Kobe Bryant was, man. And when I just look at it, I, I just have to go with the Mamba. Overall, probably the best score of all time. Uh he just – I'm just going with Kobe Bryant, man. 81 points in the game. And, look, it's, it's, this is crazy. I've just seen this the other day. He scored 81 points in the game. It was still four minutes left. It was still four minutes That's left true. in the game. That's true. That is true. So, if it, I mean, honestly, how hot he was that day, he could have scored 100 points. You know, by another look of great world champion who scored 100 points in the game way back in the day in the 60s. So, I just have to go with Kobe Bryant, man. I just think, like you said, it's tenacity to win. Um, him, he still went to seven finals. You know, he went to three in a row, one, two out of three. We all knew who, whose team it was, uh, basically, obviously, when Shaq left. But, again, that's when Kobe Bryant was starting in his prime. Jerry Buss even said himself to Shaq, hey, you know, we're going to have to trade you. We don't want to lose a guy like, 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 like Kobe that's, you know, coming in, basically, who we're trying to nurture to take over the team. So that's basically saying, uh, Shaq, you're better than him, Kobe right now, but we know in a couple that's years. That's true. Shaq Kobe was the older player. Here. He was a 32-year-old, so, yes. So, you know, by eliminating Shaq off the list, you know, our, our, I know you put Kobe in front of Shaq, but Magic Johnson said himself that Kobe's the best. I understand that. Magic Johnson, you know, he's just, he's the he's the GM and all these things. Um, he's just really trying to, you know, help out, uh, you know, give Kobe probably that little bit of push. Like, man, Magic Johnson's on the best Laker of all time. I'm really going to win this fifth championship. I understand that. But, hey, man, they both have five rings. I give you the edge with the passing. But last thing with the Kobe stat, let's not forget Kobe. Brian is one of the 30,000 point. He, does, he is one of the players that had 30,000 points and over 6,500 assists. So, let's, you can't act like 6,000 assists is just some underwhelming thing. And let's not forget as well that it's not like Kobe Brown was playing with some sharpshooters like a, <clears throat> a guy, you know, number 23, who's on the Lakers now is. I'm not saying on this specific team, but I'm just saying over his career. Shots so, fired. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant didn't have necessarily the best – Players who created their own shot. Yes, I give you Shaquille O'Neal his first three years. But Kobe Bryant wasn't his prime yet. I give you Paul Gasol. Okay, he was good. He was an all-star. But we can't name another all-star that was on that team. That's true. But so we can't act like Kobe. Andrew Bynum was a bum and Lamar yeah, but, Odom. Come but, on, man. Yeah, but what happened to Andrew Bynum after he left the Lakers? He I don't know. On, that's yeah, that's a good question. crazy. He had to throw. He's not even playing the NBA anymore. Snap, <laughs> snap, 76 with all that money. You know, so Paul Gasol was, was really good. I give him that. He's still playing. Oh, is he still playing? I don't even know if he's still playing. <laughs> so I just have, I have to give the edge to Kobe, man. But all those Lakers are greats. I'm a Lakers fan. Oh, let me ask you a quick question before we wrap up this broadcast. Do you think if Kobe played in the 80s, he would have got himself maybe six rings playing with a Kareem instead of Magic on the Playing with a Kareem? If, if he substitute them? I do believe Kareem is better than Shaq. I believe that too, but it's tough to say because I don't know. I, I really can't answer it. I think they definitely won championships, but I think, man, each era you have players having their own type of style and things like that, so... I know, you know, I know, I know. We talked about the, the Kobe copying the Michael Jordan thing. It's, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. I think they definitely won championships. I don't know if they win, you know, any more championships if Kobe was, was substituting for Magic Johnson because Magic Johnson is still great. I'm not acting like Magic Johnson wasn't some, you know, uh, he wasn't a great player or okay. one of the legends. But I just give Kobe the nine over Magic Johnson because he said it, and also I think Kobe's scoring ability is just it's it's it's, it's, it's too much. It's too good to to say that. You know, just give the nod automatically to Magic Johnson over Kobe. And Kobe could pass, too. Not as good as Magic Johnson, but I have to give the nod over Kobe. And he's been the most champion.